How's everyone doing? It's Cap Flop Flip Day T here. It is Wednesday, September 4th. That means we've got like two and a half days until I ride down to Harper's Ferry with my wife and then we kick the hike off on Saturday heading south. So I got a few small things to get to add to the pack. So we're, we're stopping at Home Depot for a razor blade. I think we're stopping at Models for a bandana and uh, some shoelaces. So we're just taking the Jeep out and uh, cruising around with the coffee a bit this morning. So when we get back to the house, maybe I'll do a little talking about some mindset, the last few things I have to do, and uh, we'll take it from there, guys. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we're in the basement on a crappy table as to not damage anything and uh, mess up, you know, piss the wife off. So what we got are the razor blades that we purchased. I'm gonna open those. Now I found out about this. Usually I don't even carry anything sharp, uh, but I figured I'm gonna do it. I want to have something sharp. Cut, you know, straps, line, and cheese, meat, whatever. And I found this in a book by Mike Clellan. It's called Ultralight Backpacking, 153 Backpacking Tips, something like that. Quick, easy. It's not really like a book. It's really just like a list of, of stuff. Uh, I learned a lot from it. I don't implement every single thing that's in the book, but I do. I did learn a lot from that book. And this is one of those things that I haven't tried yet, and we're going to try it. So I have a marker. Now, this is going to be in my pack. It's my only blade. No knife, just this razor blade utility knife. I can cut cheese. I can cut gear. That's it. Now, we don't want to stick this in our expensive ultralight backpack. Obviously, that's going to stick through. Maybe jam us in the back. We just, no. So we're going to make a cardboard sheath because we're ultralight and we're, and we're cheap. So according to my calculations, I want this. come over and fold over so we're gonna leave a little bit at the this side for it to fold over so we're gonna go like this and this is gonna fold up and we're just gonna tape the sides that's why I have my trekking pole here I don't have any more Gorilla Tape. I have a few wraps on each trekking pole, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off and use it. So that's there, and we'll just double that. So that should be about there, we'll say. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try it. And here's my handy dandy straight edge. I'm going to use the cardboard. Should be square enough. Something like that's going to be our cut. Let's give that a shot. We're going to use the razor blade. There. That's yeah, fine. So now, according to my calculations, do something like this. This will fit in there. Something like that. Is it long enough? Did I fold it good? Yeah. That'll go like that, and then that'll fold over. Actually, gonna do it the other direction. Uh, yeah, what do we think? All right, so now we're just cutting that tape off. Finish cutting this tape off here. Should be about right. On there. On here. And a tiny piece on the bottom.
Now, how hard is this going to be to get out? That's a good question, isn't it? Not too easy. Hmm. Bend it like this a bit. Yeah, that looks all right out. One safely packaged razor blade. That makes me happy. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Coming along to the store, get, get some last minute things for my adventure here. We still need a, a few things. Got to throw in the pack uh, nail clippers, got to throw toilet paper in there, can't forget that. Um, really, just a bunch of small stuff. Hope the cardboard sheath and the razor blade is something that might help somebody. I've never tried it, I've heard about it. I usually don't carry a knife or anything sharp when I backpack. I'm going to have this razor blade if I need it. Nice and light, useful. That's how I like most of my gear. So again, thanks for tuning in, guys. These vlog, this vlog is specifically like I gotta make more vlogs for me to get better at filming and editing with the phone and talking, and all that's gonna come if I continue to make them. So thanks for coming along for the ride and the learning experience, guys. And I'll see you out there.